Hello everyone, uh, Shane Paxton here. Uh, you guys, have, everybody's been working really hard, so what I thought we would do is just take kind of a break right here. Uh, um, and I wanted to share something with you that is uh, pretty inspiring and uh, should be uh, pretty motivating for for you and well, all of us. But um, So I'm going to share with you something. Um, I, uh, I, get, I have a certain magazine that I get, and it's all about, um, it talks about, uh, online uh, business startups and uh, it gives you know success stories and different things and you really learn a lot from it I can't tell you what the magazine is here because apparently that's not legal but anyway um, it, it's a great magazine and it's all about people who um, have never had an online business but they started one okay and I ran across this uh, story about um, these two uh, gentlemen and uh, and I want to tell you a little bit about how they got started and and, and where they started from. Okay, so um, obviously these two people have never never had an online business. Okay, this they both had full time jobs and other in other industries and and things like that. Um, so they never they don't they didn't have that much experience. Um, they're probably about like all of us when we start out with not very much experience. And so they decided to put up their very very first uh, website and it was um, kind of just like what you're seeing here with our site okay so it wasn't that much different now when they first started their first site was a small niche site um, that had to do with pet beds okay um, and uh, that's what they that's what their niche site was it was uh, uh, pet beds and they um, had Amazon affiliate products on their site. Okay, um, so they started off with uh, uh, promoting Amazon affiliate products, just like we all do here. Okay, the site is going to be uh, their their site was pretty much just like what you see here. They didn't have any of their own products on their site, um, and they may have had a couple of other uh, um, affiliate programs from another place, but uh, most of their stuff was Amazon uh, pet beds from Amazon that they were promoting on their site. Okay, so that's that's all they had, one niche site for pet beds. And then they uh, discovered that they can start putting their own products. And what happened was somebody, uh, they got with somebody and somebody said, hey, you know what, if you can get a good supplier, um, you can put your own products on your site and sell your own products. Okay, so um, what happened was is they um, started trying to get suppliers. And it ended up being a nightmare for them. They got the wrong suppliers, and it ended up being just a really bad process. But the good news is they finally found a good supplier. And so they started gradually um, filling their site with their own products, pet beds. They had a supplier for pet beds. And they were able to um, get these pet beds at a very deep discount and then resell them on their site for a nice profit. So. And it's just kind of like what we're doing here. You know, we have Amazon affiliate products, but we're slowly adding our own furniture and own products. Okay, so um, their story is just like what we are doing now. So eventually, um, they got to their site to where they had about 80% of their own products on their site, and they were featuring on their homepage and different things their own products. Okay, so what happened is they worked. They went to work, and they worked really hard. Okay. Um, so these people are just like us. They're just like you right now, okay? Um, now I can tell you that there is one thing that these two people had that I don't know if if if, if any of you or I don't know. I can't tell you if you have it, okay? And what they had was an unbelievable determination and um, the willingness to commit to what they were doing, and that's what made them successful. It wasn't that they knew everything and knew how to do everything, and, and, and it wasn't that. That's not what made them successful. It was the fact that they were ready to stay with it. They were determined to make it be a success, and they, they set goals. And so, and what happened was that niche site started making money. Okay, they started selling pet beds. And so they went on. Now that first site, I'm going to tell you what that first site was. Their first site was called simplypetbeds.com. This is a real site, guys, okay? Uh, simplypetbeds.com. 
and if uh, you do a Google search for pet beds they are they are um, I'm not going to show them to you yet but they are on the first page for pet beds okay which is a pretty um, pretty competition stiff uh, niche right here on the first page because you got Amazon Walmart and things like that but they are on the first page okay and I'm going to show them to you here in just a minute but but anyway back to the story what happened is they started doing really well so they put up another niche site and then another and then another and then another they ended up having 25 or so individual niche sites and they were selling products from different all different niches okay um, they have uh, furniture sites they had um, um, all kind baby stuff whatever you know they had about 24 niche sites and what happened was they they established their niche sites to a point where um, they were getting repeat customers and what they found out is um, uh, when a customer was looking for a certain niche product um, say they were looking for um, outdoor furniture so they they knew that they could go to this company's outdoor furniture niche site and what happened was these people would go to these niche sites and then and send them an email and say hey you know I love your stuff here I love your stuff but I wish you had a site that sold this or this and so they would say you know what okay we know what we need to do now and because they were getting all these emails from people saying you know I wish you had this I wish you had this I wish you had this they didn't know they didn't know they had all these other niche sites so they would end up saying hey you have to go to the this, this niche site you can get this product from us but you need to go here and this person you need to go here to this niche site so what happened was is they ended up consolidating everything okay everything into one big site now you cannot do this until you um, uh, established your niche sites but that's what they did and so they combined it on one complete site okay now one thing to notice about their niche sites their niche sites the domains that they had for their niche sites all were niche related do domain names kind of like uh, simply pet beds they had pet beds in the domain name okay each of their niche sites had something like that okay and um, so what they did was they purchased a new domain uh, and and made a site that has all of their products across all of their niches to one site okay now they didn't get rid of their niche sites what they did was they were getting good traffic to all their niche sites okay they didn't want to get rid of them so they just put a redirect um, so if, if a person went to their um, um, outdoor furniture site it would redirect to the outdoor furniture section of their big main site that they put all their stuff on okay so they started funneling in the traffic from all their niche sites to their main site okay okay let's take a look at their site now they're called Wayfair I don't know if you've ever heard of them okay I didn't hear of them before I found out about them started reading about them um, so what they did is they went and bought this name Wayfair it's a branded name okay they wanted to brand their self which they did with a branded domain name okay and you can see all of the products they have you can see some outdoor furniture here okay and they have they have all kinds of problems or uh, they have problems they have all kinds of products you can see all the different ones here now but before they uh, made Wayfair before they made this site when they first started off with simplypetbeds.com they got that site to making well over a hundred thousand dollars a year okay what happened was they were generating some really good income from their niche sites okay these are two guys that started with with nothing not knowing nothing putting up one site okay and they they uh, made it make money and now now Wayfair Wayfair makes you know they're in the million dollars um, a year in sales okay and what I what I'm trying to tell you is that you can do this you can do this you can do some I'm not gonna say that you're gonna go out and make as much money as them you may if you have the determination that these guys had uh, I can't I don't know I can't I, I don't know that much about my customers but if you, you can do this these guys did it there was nothing really special about them other than their determination and, and willing to commit and now they made so much money with their niche sites selling their own products from their suppliers 
and now these guys are millionaires. So the moral of the story, you're starting with your outdoor furniture site and you're going to start putting your own products on it. Eventually you're probably going to have about an 80 to 20 uh, uh, differential on your own products as opposed to Amazon products. Now the question you have to ask yourself, how much money, how much money do you want to make? How willing or how committed are you? Um, how much determination do you have? Um, and how much do you want to make your outdoor living site make you? And what do you feel is is the point where this site is successful or is it have to make so much money to be successful and do you think you can do it okay that that's the moral of the story and the fact is that you can do it now there's no doubt in my mind that there are some of you out there uh, that are watching this right now that can make this into a uh, six-figure income okay okay uh well i hope you enjoyed this little uh um story um and uh if you want to uh, do some background on wayfair um you can do that okay all right well let's get back to work in the next video